What's up everybody, welcome back to the club. In this video, I will be talking about the Prototipo Standard B, the tier 9 medium tech tree Italian tank, uh, yeah, Euro European tech tree. So this tank, I don't know why, for which, which reason, is one of my favorite favorite tanks in point of stats uh yeah so uh let's have a look at it where is it where is it where is it i'm um, right now at i think 85 battles 88 battles and i got 66 percent wound weight with this tank and i got 2k of average damage there is a reason why i think uh yeah just like that um naturally adapted to the playstyle of this tank and i didn't even recognize it after uh yeah yesterday i played the battle i aced this tank again and i what and then i have i had to look at my stats with this tank and i was surprised that actually this tank i i'm just playing from time to time with it and uh i was surprised that it's actually on stats is my one of my best tanks and i don't know why it's not my best tank so or it's not my favorite tank so i should maybe play more battles with it um yeah to grind my win rate and that's why i'm doing this video because i'm um, yeah suddenly or randomly actually uh completely mastering the play style with this tank i wanted to show you some battles uh yeah uh how i'm driving this vehicle how i'm playing with the standard b and yeah to help you to improve your skills or if you are grinding this tank or if you have this tank already to improve your skills how to play and how to drive this vehicle so uh, about the equipment what i'm using here so i'm going definitely for more penetration uh, and i'm using calibrated shells i just wanted to check out my reload time here that's why i got the improved ventilation here uh yeah uh, we got here for the third shell five uh without ventilation 5.9 seconds of reload time for the second shell 7.5 and for the first shell 8 seconds so we can see here that uh yeah the third shell got the fastest reload time that means if you are a guy who will only use his third shell you will have the highest tbm and you will have a high tbm compared to other uh tier 9 medium tanks and that's the secret about this tank if you fire only your third shell don't use the second and the one you will have only uh yeah 5.6 seconds let's say reload time but for that a high alpha damage with it and that's yeah an insider tip how to play with the tank but it depends always on the situation i will show you later on the battlefield but definitely go for Kelly better shells and with that you will have a good penetration I'm also going for supercharger of course for a nice clean shot from distance without penetration issues I'm going for the, the refined gun for a better gun dispersion improved assembly we have anyway no armor only a trollish armor so uh, yeah defense system improved optics for a better view range you will need it to spot for the enemy and also for yourself if you are 1v1 in the end uh, it's better always to go for the improved optics generally playing with a medium tank so don't go for camouflage it doesn't make any sense playing with a medium tank uh yeah engine accelerator and with that we will reach 35 km per hour of average speed but we are faster in point of top speed i will show you also and i'm going for the consumables delivery system we have because we have here no adrenaline and with that i can more often use my repair kits consumables we have no special consumables here for this tank so i'm going safety first two multi-purpose uh, or two repair kits and one engine power boost so provisions i'm going for more view range and more tpm she's uh yeah the cheese hat and the cinnamon roll and i'm going for improved fuel to get more speed so far so good and how let's let's have a look at uh, the abilities of this tank on paper so yeah we got here 350 of alpha damage it's really pretty good if you fire as i told you always your third shell uh yeah it's really you will have a high tpm um that means you will have six seconds of reload time uh, yeah and in one minute you will be able to fire 10 shot that means you will have 3.5 of tpm for a tier 9 medium tank that's really insane and it can even uh compete with tier 10 medium tanks so if you know keep it that in mind 
uh, yeah, and use only your third shell, you will have a really very high TPM. Okay, so yeah, we got here um, gun depression. Let's have a look. Wow, crazy. 10 degrees of, of gun depression, but don't be teased by that to play hull down because this tank, it's not a hull down vehicle. The turret is not strong and everybody will pen you. Maybe you are lucky somebody will aim on your gun and there you, you will bounce, but in general, it's not a a typical hull down vehicle with a strong turret but it's somehow a sneaky tank to maybe you can go to hull down positions and use this insane gun depression but without being spotted okay so keep it in mind we have no armor or this tank and if some shots will bounce it's only luck really and yeah top speed 85 uh, 58 uh, km per hour that's really insane really fast and the average speed 35 km per hour so so far so good that's all actually what we have to say about the tank on paper and uh, yeah don't be confused here is showing the damage per minute if you fire all of your shells that means the first the second and the um, the third and then you have to wait a long time to reload them again and fire again that's the average dpm but you can uh yeah Modify it as you want. If you fire only your third shell, you will have 3.5k of TPM. If you will file fire your second and the third shell, you will have a higher TPM than this one, than 2.2. Than and if you will fire all your shells, one, two, three, then reload them all, then fire again, you will have a, a lower TPM, which is shown here. But it's not the case if you know how to play with this tank and if you use your shells correctly. It depends on the situation on the battlefield so yeah i don't want to talk a lot that's all what we have to say with this tank it's more important to know how to play with it how to drive it and that's what i will try to show you here let's go and here we go with the first battle an ace tank a master badge playing here against uh, tier 8 and tier 9 tank so i'm the higher uh tier tank and yeah it's gonna be an ace tank a master badge as i told you and I went to the middle as always to spot for my team. I dealt already a lot of damage by spotting, by assistance. And now I will try, of course, to deal my own damage. So here we go. So that combination, dealing your own damage and dealing damage by assistance, by spotting for your team. Um, it's the best combination to get your async and mastery badge or first class mastery badge. And I did a lot, as you saw in the beginning of this video, a lot of async and mastery badges with this tank. Yeah, I just completely adapted to the play style of the tank so i'm playing from distance third line um right now the g saw is alone there but sorry mate it's your problem if you want to push right there alone but i'm not an asshole i will still try to help him but i think i will be too late but he did already a great job um that tvp and that uh, amx 8 c 48 they are low hp so he did the the job so now i can finish them easy i got three shells only one shell left let's fire another one on that amx or let's wait till i uh, reload my second shell and then make sure to finish that amx um yeah i will wait here we go and this is the tricky thing about this tank so you have always you know to have a look at the hit points of the enemy and decide should i should i now wait fire my shot and wait a long time until my first shell is reloaded or should i just hide and wait and i got my two shells on three shells and then go out to make sure to finish the enemy and that's the tricky thing about this tank uh, which we should all know it if you are playing uh, with those kind of tanks o2 reloader tanks it's very important especially the italian one uh, they got always a long reload time on the first shell and uh, yeah, so if you if you are always firing your third shell, you will have the highest TPM because in every six seconds you will be able to fire a shot. Um, and of course, if you you will use your second and the third shell, you will still have a high TPM. But the highest TPM you will have it if you are always firing only your third shell. But here is a situation where I should use all of my shells because I can easy yeah deal 1k of damage in a matter of i don't know how much to five seconds so uh, of course i will go for it um it's always about the situation where you are uh in the map um yeah and then decide then decide should you go for three shells or is it better to go only for one shell then hide again the poke again fire another shell as i told you it's always depending on the situation but what you can recognize here what how i'm playing i'm playing sneaky i'm playing firing some shots here some shots there 
if there is a possibility to push, I will push, and that's how you should play with this tank, period. Here we go, now um, finishing the SMV, and now running away, maybe finding another shot on that SC1, and now I have to run away and completely relocate, wait until reloading my three shells, so with that I will be able maybe to finish the SC1 with my whole magazine. Now I have to, uh, I have the advantage that I have a better view range, so I will spot him before he spots me, and my second advantage is of course my mobility, and of course that I have three shells in my magazine. That means I can find three shells, I can take one shot maybe, and um, I will then can you re reload again and reuse my first shell, and maybe in that time he will maybe fire his second shell, but I think uh, he will not be able to finish me with two shells, with two shots, and that's what I was thinking here in the situation. I stopped here, I thought he is going to go to the base, so uh, um, was looking for a strategical point where I can use my view range, I'm the last one surviving and now I have a better view range even, and I wanted to try to spot him from here first, because I was thinking that, uh, yeah, his first move or his first reaction, he will just go and capture the base. But that wasn't the case, as we're going to see now in a few seconds. I will hold here, um, I'm uh, in a good strategical point. If he will push me, I can hide behind the rocks, um, I can hide behind the bush, whatever, and I can fire my shot and then hide. So that's why I wanted to wait here. At the same time, if he will capture the base from this position here, I, I have uh, a straight a straight side to the base where I can spot him and maybe I can fire on him I'm move, moving my turret as you can see left and right to make sure that he cannot surprise me um, yeah and just waiting here patience is the key being patient and think a lot about your moves it's like a chess game as I always told you a lot of times guys so now I can't spam him so that's why I didn't fire it and uh, I was trying that to make sure that he will not have the advantage on me and it's, it's a tricky situation now he has the advantage if I will go out he can fire on me and I wanted to risk it okay he fired I saw that 397 okay I can take another shot so I decided to go gas 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 and to finish him here we go one and two with precision fire and the last one boom At like I planned it, like the plan, he will fire two shots on me and I will finish him. So, if you know the reload times of your tanks, of, of the enemy tanks, you will can or you can plan your moves like that. But that requires a lot of skills and a lot of experience playing this game. That's why, hang on, don't quit, don't give up. One day, if you have enough battles like me or other skilled players, 20k battles, 30k battles, the game will make a lot and a much way, way more fun when you know every tank and you know the reload times and stuff like that. So, yeah, a tank, a mastery badge, 169 of credits going for 4k of damage and 2.1 of damage assisted and now let's jump to the second battle i got for you for this video so the second battle is in falls creek and yeah i'm uh, playing again here uh, tier 10 tanks uh, and our team got only three tier 9 tanks and the rest uh, of enemies are tier 10 tanks and here we go the first surprise surprising the fighters track him so i can fire my third shot so in this situation here, that was important to fire my three shots because I got, I can deal a lot of damage, 1k damage, free damage, because he was completely in front of me, I tracked him so I, I could fire my three shots and that was good. In some other situations, like we saw in the last battle, maybe uh, it's better just to fire one shot. For example, if we have uh, a lot of enemies who are staying in front of you, it's gonna be risky to go out and try to pick another shot. So it's better just use that surprise moment, fire one shot, and then wait until there is, uh, again, another opportunity to fire the rest of the shots. Here again, a situation, I'm shooting from distance, long distance, I'm not spotted, so I can keep firing. Otherwise, if you are playing, for example, from a, a hull down position, or you have to go to poke, go out, fire a shot, and roll back, it's better to play that way, uh, because as we saw, uh, we have less reload time for the last shot than firing or three shots, then wait again. Uh, the shortest reload time is for the third shot, then the second shot, then the first shot, of course. So, 
um, it depends always on the situation on the battlefield keep it always uh, in mind so here you go here a situation where I should maybe take better a heat shell to make sure to penetrate here we go we finished now that camp Panzer 70 and now keep pushing, keep sneaking around, look at this, like a ghost, they don't see me, the Vikers saw me, but yeah, it's too late mate, I got you, now I'm spotted, but I'm still nearly full HP, so uh, I don't care, I decided to push on the T11 while I'm reloading, so to make sure that I will fire three shots on the T11, um, yeah, so here we go, keep pushing, a very aggressive battle, um, yeah really insane perfect timing to go out now I'm the fastest so I would push on the on that grill and try to finish him now well, we are missing that meme sound mine 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 but <laughs> I'm screaming it's mine it's mine I want to get it so here we go the grill goodbye one shot then ram him boom yeah fetish so that was really uh, a battle that I picked up for you um, the classic battle how to play with this tank in the beginning from distance um, s sneaky style then in the end because I saved my hit points playing aggressive and firing my three shots or my two shots on one enemy one um, magazine on one enemy that's the best case while relocating reloading so that you don't lose time if you are reloaded you can directly fire your shots so uh, it's really tricky to play with this tank um, but if we know if you understand how uh, you're going to deal really great great battles like the first battle and like also the last battles i will show you now i got for you in this video so last but least this battle here in alpenstadt so i went medium side but there is nobody there so i decided with my teammates the wz one to one to uh, yeah help the heavies maybe the mediums are camping medium side i don't know where they are but if you see nobody uh, don't wait there and be not useful at all for your team but don't wait a lot if there is no action in medium side so try to push sneaky to heavy side of course you are not going to be the one to take the damage it's the job of the heavies uh, you are the one who just want to support somehow don't do stupid moves so look at me i'm looking in the minimap seeing where i can sneak shots without being spotted without being the main target and that's how we should play generally with a medium tank and especially with this tank so always have a look and as always if you will uh, recognize that moment that okay we are outnumbering the enemy team you can risk more you can take some damage and play more aggressive and now it's the time to play more aggressive we are seven versus four i'm still reloading my third shell so i decided to move around and surprise that t62a um, i will finish him anyway um, i have the advantage that i have a full hp and that i have three shells reloaded but now it's tricky the su122 is there so I, that's why i stopped there i don't want it to go out uh, because against two tanks of course it's harder than only against the t62a but now i'm seeing that the su122 is far away so uh, yeah i will try to push on him and maybe finish him and this battle also i picked up for you because it was really very clean very clever played um, not taking a lot, of, a lot of risks, but still doing my job with my tank. So yeah, guys, that was uh, my review, my opinion about the standard B. Definitely one of my favorite mediums in this game. As I told you in the beginning, I don't know why. It's just a feeling. I I feel so comfortable with this tank. I I have one of the highest win rate with this tank. Um, maybe I think. Uh, the mechanism of the thing i think uh, uh, i think i that i mastered the play style i know that where you should use only the last shell where i should only two shells what i should use my full magazine uh it's about timing about positioning your tank about knowing where to push or where you should hide and i think i mastered that so um, i hope that i could help you with this video to improve your skills playing this game in general and especially playing with a prototypo standard b if yes don't forget to smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new watching my content and see you soon for sure guys in the next video bye bye